All right, guys, how are you doing? So today I'm gonna make a video about bear dragon feeding, specialized video <laughs> of bear dragon feeding. So I'm gonna do the video on uh, the bear dragon feeding on high viscous leaf and also of superworms and other diets. And I'll be teaching you some tips on the feeding part, which is very important and uh, for the bear dragon. So let's watch the video. So guys, uh, okay, so today's video we're going to talk about the uh, bear dragon feeding session. So over here we have Pingu. Hi Pingu, how are you? It's a male citrus bear dragon. <coughs> so in our previous, my previous video, I've shown this guy. So today I'm going to do some, you know, just some basic uh, tips on, on the feeding session. So basically, I feed this guy spinach leaves. Uh, sometimes I give high viscous flowers and also high viscous leaf. It's also very good for them. And in uh, fact, like uh, insects, I give them superworms, mealworms, crickets, and dubia roach. So for today, I'm going to do uh, a superworm feeding session. So basically, I'll teach you guys on how to actually feed them and what's the best way and what kind of uh, calcium powder to use. And so now basically you see my substrate over here I'm using this kind of uh, this three chips This one is uh, not harmful to the bear dragon Because uh, I constantly feed them And they will never chew on this thing Because they know this is not food <coughs> And why I put the air paper down here is because um, When they poop I don't want the poop uh, to go and touch this Wait, let me show you guys So I don't want the poop to go and touch this blue mat down here So this one all just for safety precautions Because bear dragon poops can, dragon poops can smell a bit uh, smelly You know, so because of that uh, So I put all these things So when the, they poop, the poop will be on the paper So I can just throw the paper away So the substrate is just for beauty purpose, nothing else So I will recommend that substrate I'll show, I'll show you guys the pictures as well So over here we have the basking light so I did it myself, I just used my old uh, container lid and I just put the etc light dome on top of this so he will pass here as he wants, you know his baby and this is uh, just like a rock for him to stand on it and you know sit on, he can sit on top of this and do basking stuffs so it's just very nice uh, for this guy, you know, he's very happy and one more thing why I don't put water this is because bear dragon doesn't require a lot of water so like in a week uh, two times in a week, I'll just let them swim in the water and I'll let them play in the water a while and stuff So in meanwhile while they're playing inside the water uh, They will drink the water and at the same time I'll let them bask under the Sun every two days in the week uh, With water so to actually give them the natural UV light. So yeah I'm gonna do the feeding session of this baby Hello baby He's hungry I guess so I'll do the first feeding session now I'm gonna show you the super worms and then the second one I'll be showing you the high biscuits and uh, high biscuits flower and high biscuits leaf alright alright guys so over here the, we have the super worms you can see this is the super worms wait let me show you okay, these are super worms you know they are bigger in size alright she's hungry no 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 baby wait wait <laughs> He's too hungry, I guess. Okay, so I put a few superworms from this thing, and I should actually dust them with the. I should dust them with this, guys. Calcinat. This is a cal calcium and nutrient, uh, best value at the best price. Yeah, this is very very good. I've been using this for years. Uh, this is a very perfect calcium and multivitamin powder for bear dragon, leopard geckos and any other insects. So basically, I just dust a little like this and I take, I just stir around, let the, I let the minimums get coated with the calcium powder. There you go. Tasty, huh? <laughs> Don't give me the look. 
poor and enjoy your food. Remember to disturb you. So guys, uh, basically even for hibiscus or hibiscus, uh, hibiscus flower and hibiscus leaf, you can also use a uh, calcium powder. It's recommended every time to use a uh, calcium powder because you, it's very good so that they won't have the uh, MBD, MBD meaning metabolic bone disease problem, which normally all the lizards have. If you don't give calcium powder, they will have a kind of problem which is called MBD like just now I explained. Their limbs will go like it won't be in a straight form like this. Sorry, body. Let me show your legs. Okay, okay. You see, this is the perfect size of the limb, right? If you don't give the calcium powder and if they get the MBD, they will their legs will be in a crooked position, the front and back. Okay, they can also get uh, paralysis at from the back side of this, starting from here up to the tail end. So they'll get some paralysis uh, effects. So that is why it's very recommended to give calcium powder. And at the same time, it's very good to actually put them under the sun also to get the UV light. Uh, it's, uh, it's more powerful, it's more stronger and uh, better than this light dome. So yeah guys. Okay buddy, I don't want to disturb you. You continue enjoying your food. Alright guys, so right now we have the hibiscus sleeve. So, and we have Popo. Hello Popo! This is Popo guys and that's not the one is Pingu. So this is a female bear dragon. So guys this is hibiscus leaf. Uh, one of the most uh, easiest and most common leaves that you can find in uh, Malaysia. Since it's our, it's our national flower. <laughs> so uh, you take this leaf, you remove the sturm. You see this sturm over here right? You remove this sturm. Then you, I recommend you to wash the leaf so you won't have any dirt or any parasite. So you just let them eat. Like this. What you want? You want to leave? Popo! So you wanted this now, no? Huh. Huh. You don't want? You don't want? You're not hungry? You're not hungry? There you go. Popo! Naughty girl. She doesn't want guys. I think she's full. She just had some worms just now. So yeah. Uh, another one more thing that you can actually use this leaf. Chop it into fine pieces like you know. Like uh, small small pieces. You just cut it off. And uh, put in a bowl. And then dust it with calcium powder and just give them. So that's another good way. Uh, easier way to feed them. Because sometimes where they are going they don't like to eat vegetables. Which is so bad. You know, you shouldn't just uh, give them worms every single time, insects every single time, you need to uh, mix the diet. It's very good for them to eat vegetables, so you know, you need to make sure. Alright, so I tried uh, giving her some small, oh, she's eating, can you see, she's eating. Want some more popo? So guys, you need to be careful also when you feed using your hand, you know, when they try to grab, they have a sticky tongue in their mouth. So you see. So again, you see the sticky tongue in their mouth. So they will use the tongue to pull their food and, uh, you know, so when it, when they try to pull their food, you can eventually get uh, bitten. So yeah, just be careful, the teeth is quite sharp. One? Is it too big? Nah, I know you can do it. No waste food, Popo. Come on. Nah. No interested. No interested, is it? Alright, fine. Good girl. So you're interested? 
He still haven't eaten the worm. This guy is very, very good guy, like I seriously. Because you see, he doesn't even eat the worm, but he's so keen in eating the high biscuit leaf. In another way, guys, you can feed your feeders. This is what we call feeders. Worms, crickets, dubias, or any mealworm. You can feed them this uh, vegetable. I mean, these leaves. So you just put this, uh, this leaf. You just put this leaf in the uh, container so they'll eat this leaf and you just feed the feeders to them. So it's uh, another good way, you know. Oh my god. Okay, I don't want this to disturb you. Can you like eat? You saw their teeth. How sharp is it? I actually normally put the leaves in a bowl and feed them, but just uh, I try to feed them in my hand today. Dude, when are you gonna finish eating that? I knew it, you're gonna drop that. It's okay, I'll take this away. Where's the tea? Can you see? Yeah, there you go. With the feeders, you eat. So now it's time for me to off the passing light and it's time for you to sleep. Alright? Goodbye. Alright, guys, that's all for the video. So if any comments you can just comment down below you can ask me any questions i'll answer them uh, and if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel uh, there will be more upcoming videos coming soon so i'll do update uh, new videos about reptiles so stay tuned guys all right guys that's all for our bear dragon feeding video today so uh Stay tuned for my upcoming videos about bear dragon. I'll be giving a lot of bear dragon tips. And uh, you guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget... <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just getting too clumsy. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.